please introduce yourself tell us about your program and year of study also what position are you running for i'm aska imran i'm a second year at smu i'm majoring in astrophysics and minoring in computer science and i'm running for the board of directors for smusa could you tell us an interesting fact about yourself or a talent you're most proud of interesting fact i was going to minor in english at first and this is the first semester that i actually switched to computer science and people are surprised like oh you were doing english you took literature courses but now i'm doing computer science and i didn't really like programming and a talent would be acting i'm proud of it uh, could you share your campus involvement and extracurricular activities campus involvement i think i've been most involved with the drama society but also with the astrophysics the smu astronomy and physics society and i tried for the journal debate society i was involved with the debate society in september 2022 i tried in january but it didn't work out cuz drama took all the time other than that i like volunteering i've volunteered for the astronomy and physics conference that happened in 2023 i've volunteered for keep it social and some other events with the smu residents so why do you think you'll be a good fit for the position i think i like to think that i'm a very social person and i'm easily approachable so as a board member i know student engagement is a very main like thing that you need to do so students need to come up to talk to you they should be able to talk to you about their concerns and problems they might be facing or ideas and i think i'm very approachable they can come talk to me and i like teamwork so teamwork working with other members to make sure that whatever concerns are being brought to us are actually being discussed there's something being done to do that ensure that policies are being implemented so i think i would be a good fit what issues or causes are you most passionate about on campus smu has a lot of people like from different countries there's a lot of international students inclusivity so like it is smu does have an inclusive environment and smu so makes sure that it's being implemented but i think that would be something that i would still focus on because i'm an international student and even though everyone is very nice and sweet and they try to like make sure that you're being represented but still there's times where i felt like there should be something better being done societies so that is something that i would really like to focus on and also as a student i did not know what smusa does like what does the board of members do what does the president do last year i voted but i didn't really have much information so making it like available to the students like you need to know that smusa is working for you you're electing these board members so they can work for you so you can have a voice a channel so that is something that i would really like to focus on so people know that yeah you have a channel to con- like convey your messages and concerns so uh, what steps would you like take towards these issues that you mentioned i know that like i read about this musa and like board members and policies i was reading about the policies and everything and attending that meeting made me realize that i'm not going to be able to like do everything that i want to i can't really do stuff but i can at least start something i can make sure that they know that these things need to be done bring them into like focus so i think that would be something that i would start with teamwork board members need to work together and with the president as well so i think that is something that i would like to do like yeah that's some steps i think i can take making sure that there's something being done or if there's something already present then make it available to the students because i read to the policies and i'm like oh this policy already exists so i didn't know about that most people don't know about this and i know a lot of people probably need to know do you have any last comments thoughts or any advice for the students 
Um, I don't have any advice, but I would like to give a message. I am a nice person. Like, you can t come talk to me. Some people told me that I don't seem like a very friendly person when they first meet me, but I can assure, assure, reassure you, like, I am a good person. You can come talk to me. I'm nice. You can talk to me. It would be a good conversation. You have any messages? You have any questions? Let me know. I will be happy to answer. Send me an email. DM me on Instagram. So even, even if I get elected, please always feel free to come talk to me. Could you please introduce yourself? Tell us about your program and year of study. Also, what position are you running for? Hi, my name is Pavak Khurana. I am in my second year. I am pursuing Bachelor of Commerce and I am running for the position of Board of Directors. Could you tell us an interesting fact about yourself or a talent you are most proud of? Uh, so, I am a pretty good debater and another talent uh, nobody knows about is I have played basketball pretty well. And another thing just to add, uh, I'm a pretty uh, good stock market researcher and I mostly research stocks like in my free time. Yeah. Could you share your campus involvement and extracurricular activities? So I'm involved in uh, multiple societies that include WUSC. I'm a volunteer there. I'm uh, a part of C-Cycle, that's a project for Enactus. And I'm also the VP for the Debate Society. Why do you think you'll be a good fit for the position? I feel that uh, my experience in multiple societies, uh, you know, it gives me a little bit of edge so I know what societies are doing and what's the requirement for the societies and what problems do they have in real time that uh, SMUSA policies that if we can change them a, a little bit, it'll help the students and the societies better. That's one thing that I feel is uh, an advantage for me. Another thing I feel is, uh, because I am a commerce student uh, and I am a finance major, what I feel that uh, because the board also helps in the finances of SMUSA, I, being involved with the finance committee would really help me because I'll be able to understand how the finances of the uh, of SMUSA work and I'll be able to help them out a bit. And I also feel I'm pretty trustworthy and honest and whenever it comes to work i am always reliable and hard working i always give my best and i try to make take initiative and make changes wherever it's possible and for the betterment of the students thank you what issues or causes are you most passionate about on campus so i am passionate about uh, three main causes first is societies like as i mentioned i'm part of a couple of societies so being a part of societies, you get to know the inside information that, okay, what's going on behind the scene? Because whenever you go to society meetings, for example, for uh, commerce society, debate, drama, so you just see what's happening uh, in the bigger picture. You don't see what's happening behind the scenes, what the president, the VP, secretary, all of them are doing. So uh, what I feel that, you know, f uh, the policies are pretty good that SMUS has made, they're pretty crisp, but if uh, all the board of directors they come forward and they discuss the policies there would be a few loopholes and if we can uh, fix those loopholes that will really help the societies better and i also feel another point is proactive development of like uh, student engagement what i feel uh, students know about smusa but they're not pretty aware of what's happening so if we can uh, you know change a little bit of our policies re regarding social media and even regarding like how the president and the VPs they market uh, them uh, themselves to the students they'll be more aware because when I ran for elections last year a lot of students they didn't know what SMUSA is and what all is available like the food room or the health services so you know spreading awareness about these is pretty important and uh, developing these in the long run for the students here and the students that are uh, coming to our university is pretty important and the third part that I want to talk about is uh, getting the voices of students to the board. That's my, one of my main concerns too, that whatever problems that the students have, if we can approach the board that, okay, this policy, there might be a little bit of change. And you know, we, uh, a lot of people, they, who are engaged in 
uh, extracurricular activities they can come up to board members and talk okay to them okay this is what uh, we feel could change and if we bring that to the board and we can try to change that for the betterment of the students that's what i want as uh, my tenure as the board of directors yeah what steps would you take towards these issues so i would uh, you know f i have uh, read the policies a couple of time so what the main thing is communication between the board members if uh, the board members come together and whenever there is a meeting we talk on different issues and if we deliberate we can come up to you know a better solution because if every year there is a different uh you know there are different board members that come up and the previous board members they get educated about these issues that are happening around campus through the, these new members so you know a collaboration among all these board of directors that will really help us to find a solution because you know as they say there is no i in team everybody you know with combined teamwork can make these changes happen and they have happened in the past too and i feel they'll happen in the future with us uh, as board of directors coming forward and communicating with each other do you have any last comments for students uh my last comment is uh like what you want to do is go to the smusa website to uh, talk to people that uh, know about smusa engage with uh, the you know the health center engage with the food room you know engage with smusa as a whole because smusa provides a lot of facilities and uh, as students we really don't uh, you know take full uh, part in these you know organize like organizations like the uh, the international center the counseling center so if as students we come together and use more of these uh, facilities that smith has provided us we as a university will become better will become better in ranking because these facilities help us to become better as a human Thank you. Yeah. About your program and year of study. Also, what position are you running for? Oh, uh, okay. First of all, hello. Uh, my name is Nidhi Nasta, and uh, I am currently um, in my second year of the Bachelor of Commerce program. I have declared my major in accounting and finance, and I'm running for the board of directors position for the 2024 academic year. Could you tell us an interesting fact about yourself or a talent you're most proud of? The talent I'm most proud of is that I am a professional dancer and I have been going through extensive training to hone my skills in that area. And yep, that's I'm deeply passionate about that. So Can you share your campus involvement and extracurricular activities? Yeah, sure. So, uh, like I said, I have been extremely passionate about dancing. I reestablished the dance team back to SMU in, uh, last year in 2023. I am currently involved. Uh, I'm the I am the executive member of the dance team uh, as the president, and I'm also involved in the WUSC Society, the World University Service of Canada Society. That's a non-profit organization of a local committee, and my role is to be a treasurer, where I uh, do meticulous bookkeeping. why do you think you'll be a good fit for the position uh that's an interesting question so the reason i think i would be a good fit for the bod the board of director position would be that um since the, it's been one year since i have come to smu since i've been here in this university and i have seen how the last year's elections went there were a lot of board of directors that were elected and they were awesome candidates they made promises to bridge a gap between management and the students and that gap is still existing and those promises were not fulfilled since i have been here for one year i i want to fill in that void i want to be the bridge between the students and the association and i want students to engage more since i main goal after doing intensive like extensive research i have seen that the main goal is student representation representation student support and student engagement and these are the goals that i want to meet in order for smu to excel smu start to excel so 
that is why I do feel like I'm the right candidate because I want to bridge the gap between students and the association. That is one of my main goals. And that is one of the reason I'm running for this position. Sorry, go on. What issues or causes are you most passionate about on campus? Issues as in concerns? Yep, any issues, any causes that you're passionate about? Um, like I said, it's the gap that is existing. Many people are, many students are not aware of what's going on. And I do believe that social media is, is definitely an amazing way to spread awareness of things, but it's not the only way. And if I become board of director, I would definitely go beyond and what other steps I would take. So um, there is a difference between accepting the problem, like actually acknowledging the problem and improvising. But what many people don't realize is that there are so many steps involved in the middle of it, like planning, implementation, execution, and so much more. And that will take a lot of research and determination. And of course, commitment to the association, which I do believe I have. Uh, so I would definitely like do more research and take the necessary steps that are needed. And like Paula said, that treat the organization as your baby. So I would definitely, that's the first thing that comes in my mind before taking any steps or making any decisions. If I get elected as BOD. Do you have any last comments, thoughts or any advice for the students? Uh, yes, I do. So for students, I would just like to say that this is everyone's educational experience and educational journey. And it is not only, of course, it is about academics. You have to take your studies seriously, but it is not only about solely about academics. My advice or my message to students would be that cherish these memories and it's education is not only about acquiring knowledge and learning. It is also a journey of self-development, about figuring out yourself, about being yourself, about knowing who you are. And this is why I would want you to elect me as your BOD, because the, the one thing that I love to do is to connect with people and to get everyone together, because you as an individual is not just what are you majoring in what what are your hobbies what course are you doing or you know what background are you from are you from i want to get to know you of who you really are because if i do that i will be able to understand you and your perspective and that will help me make things better for smu and get everyone together and that is my main goal again thank you Could you please introduce yourself? Tell us about your program and year of study. Also, what position are you running for? Yeah, for sure. Um, hi, my name is Cheris Gervis. I am a second year student and I'm currently taking a major in um, Global Development Studies, which is a Bachelor of Arts. I'm running for a board of directors. Could you tell us an interesting fact about yourself or a talent you're most proud of? Oh, okay. Um... An interesting fact, I would say I've lived in three countries. I've lived in Tanzania, I've lived in England, and I live in Canada right now. And I really hope to live in a couple more countries. You know, there's so many countries out there. Could you share your campus involvement and extracurricular activities? Yeah, um, my main one right now, um, first year, I was just kind of getting in the groove of things. I did participate in societies, but I wasn't any executive. Um, I just really wanted to get a feel for what SMU is and what SMU has to offer. And this year, I have had the privilege of being the uh, head of communications on the African Society. Uh, why do you think you'll be a good fit for the position? I believe I'd be a good fit because mainly, you know, considering this year and my involvement with the African Society, that has definitely helped me to get into connection with a lot of students that I didn't know beforehand. And just talking to them through the, those connections, um, the African Society also works closely with the BSS and other societies. Um, I've definitely gained 
a larger perspective on the student experience because it's definitely different for everyone. I've had the privilege of talking to international students um, and students within different, you know, groups, you know, I would say groups to simplify that. And them lending me and sharing with me their experiences and their concerns on campus, um, to me, is very... It's, it's a blessing because to be able to hear all that that people say or all that people have troubling them, I believe gives me a perspective to share to the board as well as to advocate on their behalf. What issues or causes are you most passionate about on campus? A big one that I'm passionate about and hate to like reiterate myself but similar to the whole society thing um, and participating on the um, African society I know this year there's been a lot of talk around societies and the support that they get from SMUSA etc cetera, etc cetera. I'm not here to criticize I think SMUSA definitely does a lot for societies and you know we are where we are because of the students at in SMUSA who support us um, but it's just through that kind of conversation and people reminiscing on what societies were like in the past. Um, it's not so much so the societies in general that I'm very, very passionate about. It's just the idea of students supporting students. That's what I really am passionate about. I think, you know, who can help you besides someone who can understand your situation? We're all students. We're all struggling. We all, you know, get stressed and have hard times. We're all dealing with different issues. And I'm just very passionate about, you know, helping each other and supporting each other because we're all going through a rough time or we can all go through a rough time and we don't need to be against each other. That will just make it harder. And so I'm here or... I'm passionate about making us into a community. What steps would you take towards these issues? I definitely think it 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 takes the participation of multiple committees. Um, the one that I'm most aware of is the Societies Committee, but I definitely believe there is more committees that could help with this um, togetherness. I also think being in the board of directors, you're working with the executives at the same time, where the board of directors is more policy and governance and the executives are more operational. I think it takes the cooperation of both sides in order to ensure that students feel seen, students feel heard. Um, and I'm definitely willing and very prepared and determined to work with the board and with the executives to create this reality for students. Do you have any last comments, thoughts, or any advice for the students? Um, my last comment, I guess, would be, you know, we pay for an education um, and we pay a lot of money, whether it's us, whether it's our parents, in whatever way. Um, and it's a, it's not an easy thing and we're doing great, but we should never feel too we should never feel limited or shy or, you know, unable to demand more from the school, to demand more from SMUSA, because, you know, we deserve a good environment. We deserve good education. We deserve to be fought for. You know, we need to fight for ourselves. We need to fight for each other. And that's what I'm about. please introduce yourself tell us about your program and year of study also what position are you running for um, my name is deandre farrell um i'm 18 years old i'm in bachelor of arts i'm majored in political science with two minors one in criminology and commerce um, i'm running for a smisa board of directors could you tell us an interesting fact about yourself or a talent you're most proud of um, an interesting fact is I learn pretty fast and I love thrills. So I picked up on roller skating in one day. Same for ice skating, anything thrilling. I love to do outdoor sports. 
Could you share your campus involvement and extracurricular activities? Yes. Yeah, so um, I'm a second year student, of course, uh, just starting this year. And in my first year, I became an RA. Um, I'm on the res after that committee. I'm on the food committee. That's where we discuss, you know, dark side and what students want to see change. Um, I became a pack leader. I'm, of course, in a lot of um, different societies. I'm in the debate society, the Caribbean Black Student Society. I pretty much volunteer for Res Life events as well, volunteer and facilitate for them. And I'm also a varsity athlete. Why do you think you'll be a good fit for the position? I think not only counting my experience, but also my genuine want to help. That's why I think I'll be good for the position. I am interested in politics and law and the role, you know, it entails governance and policies and it will not only allow me to have that first-hand experience with something that's similar to my career, but it's also a way for me to advocate for students and to help and to have a bigger impact than what I've already been doing on campus. What issues or causes are you most passionate about on campus? Issues, I would say, personally, personally would be student life when it comes to living on campus as well as culture on campus as well. So I know with living on campus, we're all aware of certain, I guess, issues we may be having. And I have been speaking to people on the board even before you know, wanting to run. I was, I was speaking to people on the board, expressing our students' concerns, um, things they may not be comfortable with, of course. So that's one thing. And also culture on campus. I feel like SMU is very diverse. That's one thing for sure. But I feel like there's, there are more ways that they could allow us to express that culture. Like Black History Month is, is um, coming up. And I know for sure in the Black Student Society, they ask us, you know, what are some things you would like to see us do, you know? And honestly, I feel like events are things that allow us to express our culture so other students can learn. Because what that does is once everyone learns about the different cultures, you know, no one is making anyone feel bad. No one is, I guess, disrespecting anyone's cultures because we're all aware of it and we've learned about it. So it's a good learning and fun thing. I'm really passionate about culture and just students on campus experience. What steps would you take to navigate through these issues? Pardon me? What steps would you take to navigate through these issues? Well, as it relates to the living on campus and residents in particular, I have already been expressing these concerns to the board. I am an RA, of course, so we get to voice our opinions in, I guess, town hall meetings to advocate on behalf of the students. So I'm already taking a step towards that. And I feel like with a position on the board of directors, you know, that could further my impact as it relates to the culture, expressing culture on campus. I'm already a part of the committees and I've already been expressing these concerns as well. So essentially, I have been taking the steps to make the positive changes, but the board would just allow me to do that more effectively and have a larger impact overall. Do you have any last comments, thoughts, or any advice for the students? Yes, my personal advice is to come out to the, the Board of Directors debate, the presidential debate, because essentially the people who are going to be elected, their roles are extremely important in student life on campus. And I want to ensure that all students know who they're voting for and what they're voting for, and to put their vote to good use. You know, I want you to make sure you vote for someone who's going to advocate for you, stand up for you, and to ensure that all of our voices are heard. Could you please introduce yourself, tell us about your program and year of study? Also, what position are you running for? Okay, so my name is Lakshya Bansal. I'm in second year. I'm doing my double majors in computer science and business administration. So I'm running for the position of board of directors. And yeah, that's pretty much about myself. Could you tell us an interesting fact about yourself or a talent you're most proud of? Mm, I think... Uh... 
of the talent I'm proud of is my eagerness to learn. Like I'm always eager to learn any new skill. Like doesn't matter if it's related to my field or is it outside. I always wanted to learn something new every single day. And I think that's the skill. Can you share your campus involvement and extracurricular activities? Yeah, sure. So for my campus involvement, I have been to the part of few of the societies. I have been to the marketing uh, in the marketing team for the Smart Smooth Drama Society. Also, I have been to the secretary of Smooth Drama Society. I have been the part of uh, an actor's general meetings, and even I have uh, taken part in the few competitions that happened in the Entrepreneurship Center. It was an innovation sprint. It was a pretty new thing for me as well, but I liked it when I went for the innovation sprint, how the new business comes, they gives you a problem, and then you just have a couple of hours to find up a solution and how people are just boomingly coming up with their new ideas. Uh, I have been taken part in few of the Innovation Cup as well. I was with the team Galpel and it was a great experience learning curve over there. I learned a lot of people things, met a lot of new people, see a lot of mindsets, how people work, how businesses, entrepreneurships work. So there has been like a lot of my background of things on the campus. I have met a lot of new friends as well. And for outside, I would say I do have my own startup as well, which I do heli studs. This is an event organizing company. So that's pretty much my background outside, which I host events and I work for a club. So, yeah. So why do you think you'll be a good fit for the position? Mm, I think I would be a good fit because, as I said, I always eager to learn new things. And being in this position, it requires to learn a lot of new things. Like you have to be eager to listen to the people, eager to learn so that you can help people. It's like for this position, uh, what I think is like nobody knew what exactly this is, but it's all about learning and helping students and like your peers grow and be listening to their voices. Plus, I, as I say, I have a thing for BOD, which is like, you have to be bold, you have to be optimistic and you have to be determined. And I think I am determined because of my last few like experiences. I would say I have the determination to keep going. Doesn't matter how hard it gets. And you have to be optimistic person that you have to be positive in life and thinking that like, yeah, you can resolve that issue. You can, uh, and you have to be bold because yeah, if you are representing a student body, then you have to li be listening to all the students, what they are saying what they want in a, on campus to happen, what funds they are looking for, what issue they are facing. And for that, you have to be bold. And I think, yeah, I have the boldness in me to talk to the president, to talk to the other authorities to get those things done. So yeah, I think that's why I'm a good fit for this position. What issues or causes are you most passionate about on campus? Um, I think most causes is like the student engagement. People are like not that much scholarship issues comes or other things. I think like, so students are nowadays looking for more of a transparency that I want to bring in table being as a board of director and accountability, I would say. And also I think students are looking for more engagement on the university. They needed a lot of changes. So I think main thing is to be their like voice and make sure that whatever like people are feeling on the campus, you are going out to them and people can feel that person is like easy to approach and that's what I think it needs to be happen that like people has to think that their board of director, their president is so easy to approach that they can share anything that they want with them so that those things can get resolved. And I think I can be easily available to the students so they can come talk to me and I can direct those issues to the president. So I would say I want to be a catalyst uh, in the societies and with the students that like face up all the things that's happening so students can enjoy their uni university life more. Uh, what steps would you take towards these issues? I would think uh, for the best you can is be a good listener. Because see, uh, students have the problems, but I think uh, what I think from my perspective is like most of them also gives a solution on their own that what exactly they are looking for. So being a good listener is the first step that I would take. And secondly, that you have to be determined and proactive, that you have to have a mindset that uh, by doing all these things you are not just doing a job it's just that you are bringing a change to the university so that's what mindset is necessary and you have to have a positive mindset i think my approach will be being a good listener listening to the uh students and like being accessible to them so they can come talk to me so that's what i'm going to try to be more on campus and be a good listener so what they can tell me 
Secondly is, uh, as I told, I have to be bold enough. So I think I'll be bold enough so that I can become their voice and make sure they are getting heard and the issues are getting solved. Third thing, I think I have to be a critical think good in critical thinking as well, that if something new comes up and students are looking for that, I have to be good enough with my ideas as well that I can bring something new to the table and I can actually provide solutions as well. Instead of just listening, I can also like be a good speaker and provide them with the good ideas. So yeah, those are going to be my best steps, I would say. Do you have any last comments, thoughts or any advice for the students? Um, I would say to the students, like the best thing uh, you can do is like, if you're facing any issues, just like make sure to like, just say it out. Don't think is like, who's going to listen or like whom I'm going to tell just like any authority you see, not even me, any board of director you're going to see in future or you see now, the best way is the communication. So just make sure to communicate as much as you guys can, because that's the only uh, reason, uh, thing that can make your university experience better. Because yeah, authorities need to know what you guys are looking for, so they can bring that in to the table. And for me, I would say, yeah, if you guys like me, just uh, listen to the speech. And yeah, my points are just being bold, optimistic, and determined. And for the students, I would say, yeah, come talk to me if you have any questions to me. If you want to know more about me, just DM me, uh, you know, my email ID, anything else. You can just come reach out to me, ask any questions you want. I'm always available. Self, tell us about your program and year of study. Also, what position are you running for? Yeah. Hi, um, my name is Diana Ibuji. Um, I'm a second year computer science student and I'm running for the board of directors of SMUSA 2024. Could you tell us an interesting fact about yourself or a talent you're most proud of? Yeah, um, many people know this about me though. I'm actually, I write poems and I do like kind of like write a lot because of it helps me relax. Could you share your campus involvement and extracurricular activities? Uh, when I, um, I do, I'm actually in the SMU and Actors. Um, also, I'm also in the SMU Black Student Society. And that's it. Why do you think you'll be a good fit for the position? Um, because I do have like this voice of people that I'm actually trying to like project to SMU and I'm having them like back me up and knowing their challenges and their troubles as well as kind of like keeping me going to do this what issues or causes are you most passionate about on campus uh, i would say uh, more of uh, exams and more of helping the black people and international students get more comfortable in swimming and not being like like an, i wouldn't say outcast though kind of like we're just there in the school, we're just coming to school and that's about it. We're not having like the smoother experience. What steps would you take towards these issues? Uh, first of all, I kind of like have to like know what's in place at SMUSA to understand why this has been happening and you know, find solutions from there. Do you have any last comments, thoughts or any advice for the students? Uh, be yourself. <laughs> and be great. <laughs> Thank you.